Steve in Prunedale, California. Sounds like an interesting place filled with prunes. <laughs> Once I have decided to invest in a pair of REL S8, uh, S812 subs, nice subs, uh, does this greatly reduce or eliminate my need for main speakers that can go below 50 hertz or so? Uh, you recently covered this topic from the other way around. The value of subs paired with your FR30s. And this made me wonder about the value of full range speakers if I am committed to a pair of high quality subs. Yeah, I think it's a good question and sometimes we go round and round with these to try and look at it from different angles. So the FR30s in room response is about 23 hertz. And one would say you don't need a sub and in many cases you don't. But I have always been a big advocate of subwoofers for almost every system only because I'm a bass freak. No, only because a separate powered woofer is able to be moved in the room to where it works the best. A couple episodes ago we talked about having subwoofers right on the sides and when we build the new studios you'll see we're going to do just exactly that. Big giant subwoofers to the left and right which is another way to go about it because that eliminates the room itself and it's crazy. It's just totally nuts but it sounds amazing. For most of us mortal human beings who are going to put a pair of speakers in, if you really want to go full range, you add a pair of subs and those subs can be placed anywhere in the room that works for this listening position. So we've been through that before, right? Where the main speakers are positioned isn't always, in fact, usually isn't the best place for propagating bass that's even and smooth throughout the room. Hence the idea of separate subwoofers. Okay. But his question uh, revolves around, okay, I, I, I got it. I bought myself a pair of rails. Here we go. I'm going to place them just like you said. going to get my audio, audio files guide book and, and it, it explains where to place those things. I got all that going. Now I got great bass. Does my main speakers, do my main speakers have to have full range? And the answer to that is, to the best of your ability, yes. And the reason is, we want the subwoofers to go up in frequency as little as possible. The higher they go in frequency, the more directional they become. The more the ear can say, aha, sound coming from there and there, not there and there, or not here. So if we could keep our subwoofers to say, 30 hertz, 35 hertz, where sound is really not very directional. That is great. Now you have a situation where we don't hear the subs, we only hear the main speakers sounding like they have extraordinary bass, which is the goal. If your main speakers, say, roll off at 60 hertz because of whatever, you're going to start having issues right at that frequency where you start to hear the crossover between the two because it becomes a little directional. So my best advice is always spend what you can to get the best full range frequency response you can get out of your main speakers and then if you can afford it, augment it with subwoofers. Hope that helps. Thanks.